on the tee from the Republic of Ireland. He is the 2016 EA Sports Spring Invitational Champion, Turlock Healy. That's how I get introduced from now on. Because I'm the 2016 EA Sports Spring Invitational Champion! And that's a perfect drive to start for the champ. The champ is here! Sorry, I went a little off like John Cena right there. Oh, God, you're kidding me, right? Please stop this. Are you going to start the tournament with a with an easy birdie here on the first? Come on. Even pop, currently. Not for long, though, eh? Boom. One and a. Luke Donald takes the early lead. It's two under through three. All right, Luke. All right, Luke. I'd like to see Luke do well again. I miss seeing Luke do well. Makes me sad. That's a beauty right there. That's a goddamn beauty. Guys, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this tournament as well. We're going to go back to back. We're going to go back to back tournaments. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, that's just sublime. Absolutely sublime. He's going to have two tapping birdies to start today. Why am I going off this badly, guys? Easy birdie. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. His momentum. Why am I doing this? Why have I started with two tapping birdies? That's all I want to know. Please stop this immediately. I'm going off. Tough par four here, jeez. But it's a pinpoint perfect drive. God. Hello, Game Riot Army. That's the third time you've gone line in five minutes. What the hell's going on? Setting up for the approach, this player in total command. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, the decision making, club selections being spot on, but uh, the execution, the swing, uh -oh. is, uh, is really what I'm admiring. Right a little fast. And a little left. Stay on. Stay up. Oh, no. He went into the rough instead of the bunker, really. Not on the green after that second shot. But still not it's time for a chip in, I say. A good third shot. Maybe get away here with Pop. Oh, it's a perfect chip. And it's a tap in par. Alright, two under for the first three holes. Not bad at all. We'll take it. Jason Bone gets the four under par. Luke Donald drops one on five. But it's reachable. There's some mounds down there. If you keep it down the right side, hopefully that tee shot can keep get a little forward. And then uh, that green. Well, I didn't keep it down the right, guys. So that's going to be in the rough, is it? No, stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. Thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much. He has hit a good one. Second from an excellent line. There's no way we can reach this, is there? 283 to the front. Hang on. If we absolutely smash this out of this world, aim at that tower. Libba left that tower. Yeah. Oh, short swing 3%. It would have been okay if I didn't have that, I'd say. I probably would have got up there if I didn't have the short swing. Well, we probably wouldn't have actually. We're going to have a pitch across the green to get up and down for a birdie here. It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Needs to jump. Needs to jump. That's not great. Yeah, it's a poor chip right there. And this isn't easy either, huh? We start making more of these, though. I wouldn't say there's actually too much break there. Mm, even less than that. Okay. Just didn't quite read the My bad. My bad. It shouldn't be a problem. You'd think cleaning up here for Pop. Okay. Frank, how does that far help his cause? Too back. Too back. Too back. Quite a quick start, though. Nice part three. Yeah, this is where the accurate iron player will definitely get an advantage over the field. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Go, 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 go. I thought it was going to be beautiful, but it's short. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I'll have a short little pitch there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. 
And that's how you make an adventurous birdie. Thank you, thank you. That's the three under. All right, beautiful. I think that was the last hole, was it? No, this is the last hole. Okay. Well, yeah, but if you uh, make a mess of nine, then you're making hamburgers. Hole number nine, Frank. Oh, that was short swing, 11%. My bad. <laughs> the game kind of, like, it went really slow there for a second or something. I don't know. When I was bringing it back, like, it kind of crashed a little bit. I don't know what the hell happened there. It's still 280, though. Just, this is going to be a tough shot here. We'll have to play it down below the ball a little bit. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Slow and short. God. Hot. Kick. S Go on. Get up. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. But we haven't made a long ass putt in a while, huh? But this is a long putt. Greens are fast though. You never know. Eleven inches. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. It's breaking both ways. Try straight. Oh! Yeah, that's a good putt right there. I was thinking that it was breaking more the other way, if anything. So. And getting ready for good thing I just left this straight. All right, though. It's a par, a safe par, and we're not going to be far behind starting day two. Not far behind at all. First round is complete. What are your All thoughts, right. partner? Rich, I think anyone inside the, the current top ten of that leaderboard is certainly well placed to go on and uh, take this championship. Paddle items. Equipment items one. Right. Kevin Kisner, Patrick Reed, Luke Donald, Hunter May, and all six under. Okay. They're not playing around. They're not playing. They ain't playing. The Boston Championship. TPC Boston, obviously. What the hell? A player just appeared there. Did you guys see that? Was that me? Was that me or was that someone else? I don't know. I don't remember having that attire. Maybe I do, actually. I've changed it up a bit. Not exactly sure. We'll see. I don't know why I'd just be randomly standing beside that green with a fox, though. Kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah, it must be me. Let's check uh, about this new equipment here. I think they said we have a new, we have a new hybrid. Oh, R15. Please, yes. Thank you very much. I'll replace that three hybrid. Callaway can suck my my clubs. All right, let's do this. Hmm. Wow, we we're not it. We're just inside the top twenty now. After that finish, we were we were second when we when we finished the the quick round. I guess people were not messing about there. EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live oh, look at second it. round coverage it's of beautiful. the Boston Championship. Well, we don't have to hit it that hard, but um, we do need to go quite a bit further because it's 12 foot up and the wind is into us. Be good. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Leaves that one about 20 feet out from the cup. Nicely played shot. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. There's actually birdie. not that much break in this, is there? Just a smidge, really. Yes, come on. There. We're getting the putter going now. Let's rule this town. Pruh. Reed. Donald Kisner. Who the hell's Pru? I've never even heard of that guy. How do you even say his name? Pru? Pru? I've never heard of him in my life. Certainly should feel that way. That was uh, some quality golf we've just seen. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This is a long ass par four, huh? 470. This is the second shot at the par four. Go right a little bit. Go right a little bit. Kick in right a little bit. That's all right. That's a chance. Okay. Uh, there's not much break. It's a tiny bit to the right there. Perfect. Again. Now that's two big putts in a row right there. 
You're getting the hang of this new putter. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Two beautiful strokes in a row there, and we're in two of Hunter Mayhem. This is a slug as paradise. Plays much longer than it's 450 yards uphill. Living okay. in the slugger's paradise. Not exactly short either. That oh, is exactly what I am. A goddamn slugger. Yeah, yeah for a beautiful shot there. Ball sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. I oh, fucking sliced it, man. This is taken off on a I sliced the shit out of that one. So the second of the par four. All right, this is not going to be an easy up and down here. Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. But that's a gorgeous shot. We have a tester for our par there. We've been putting well today. Don't want to jinx myself, but we have. Oh, I nearly jinxed myself. It nearly went right, but just about catches the edge of the hole there. No lip outs today, and we're just too back. Now, That's what I'm talking about. Par four that is almost 500 yards. It gets your attention. It does play downhill though, so you don't have to smash your way here. It's better oh shit! We hit the three. Right really? I didn't think we were gonna hit that. Uh, Two fifty-six. It's just like we hit a little hybrid up there. That's what I was doing. Oh god! Oh, man. This is a par five. Okay. That makes sense then. We can get to this still. Was that fast four? Really? Sit. Sit, sit, sit. That's the middle of the green right there. That's a beauty. That's a beauty, an eagle putt right there. Thank you very much. After hitting the tree off the driver. <laughs> With the driver. Ooh, nasty. What you think, very makeable distance. Oh, if I'd left it where it was, it would have went in. I brought it a tiny bit back in. We're, yeah, we really are hitting good putts today. The putting is on point. Putting on point. Easy birdie. Settled over the ball here at the 15th, 421 yards on this par four. Is that short swing 4%? Really? Still a beast, though. Boom. Not gonna be a long one in. Less than 100, I would imagine. Around 100. 112. The game almost appears easy when one is playing their second shot from the middle of fairway, and you quickly forget how difficult it can be. Look left or Oh no, that's short. Go, jump, jump. Oh, that's good now. He jumped a little bit. Oh, short swing, three percent. I thought it was gonna be more short than that. Boom! Nice. That's another birdie in the books. These are long, quick rounds here at Boston, huh? That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with the lead. We's tied for the lead, mate. Deal with it. Sherlock Key is going to win back-to-back tournaments. Now we're three behind Kevin Kisner. Okay, Kevin, you ain't playing any games, huh? This was the man that was in the playoff with Ricky Fowler at the Players' Championship. He impressed me there. He really did. He he had some serious nerves. But Ricky came away with it in the end, baby. I thought Kisner was going to do it for a bit there because he was just looking like solid as nails. But, I mean, can't stop Rick. You can't stop Ricky, 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 Ricky Fowler. Ricky, 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 Ricky. We going flat bills. We going flat bills. Okay, two shots behind now. Apparently, they give us a birdie there. Uh, the simulation, but heavy wins today. Beauty, beauty, right up the center to start the day. Three oh three. That's what I'm talking about. I'm also doing Mad Max at the moment, guys. If you want to check that out, Mad Max Until Dawn. Um, I put up a course log if you didn't know. I'm sure you all know, though. But it was, I really thought it was really good. I enjoyed doing it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. And yeah, go check it out if you haven't seen it already. It was yesterday I put it up, I think. 
So, yeah, it's, it's not that you wouldn't have to go too far back looking. Boom! Another putt. We're putting well. The title of this is going to be putting. Putting, putting, putting. That's how it's done. Here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a six hole in some bombs. Five. It looks straight away, but the wasn't good. Is if you don't hit a good ah, tee shot, then you really have to be aware of Oops, that. Oops, my bad. I didn't skip that. Still 300 up center, though. We ain't gonna reach this for sure. For shizzle, we ain't reaching that. That was fast eight, really. Damn. Could have been straight. We might have hopped onto the green there. This one, boom, into the rough. Yep. <laughs> no, we wouldn't have hopped onto the green, but I don't know how that's 8% This is where the skill comes in. A good part, this is where the good player separates himself from the rest. Oh, short swing? Really? Usually I always get overswing there with those ones. Not an easy birdie throw. Uh -huh. okay, I can't see shit, so let's try and get a different view here. It's actually pretty straight, isn't it? There's not much breaking at all. Maybe at the start there's a little bit to the right, but there's not that much. Not not even that much. Okay. So, all right. Went in. Uh, at least not even that much break. That went past the hole. So, just replicate that on the way back. Boom. Well, I'm putting, man. Uh, I hit a straight putt. It feels like I'm putting to the right, but I've I've learned to just go through with it, follow through with it. Off the Kevin Kisner, I'm coming for your ass, boy. <laughs> Didn't sound weird at all. Another hole that uh, picks with the same theme. Really want to fly this nice and high. Uh, that narrow part at the front of the green really is to be avoided. Needs to go. Needs to go. Needs to go. Needs to go. 3% short. Oh, now it's going to be real good. Oh, my lord. How about that, huh? <laughs> I thought that was going to be in the bunker, but it's a tap in birdie to tie the lead now. Settles in over the putt. That's a tie for the lead, right there, right there. Kevin Kisner, what's good? Pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. Series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Last hole here. I can aim way left because uh, the wind is coming back in that way. Oh, short swing, man. That's perfect. A little better off than last time, I think. Yep. We're tied for the lead as well at TPC Boston. Ball, we'll see how we do in the, the final round over 300 yards. in the next part. Go on, get up, get up a little bit. Jump forward a little bit. Go. Okay, the chance to finish. If we could, if we could hold this one, that would be just the epitome of the three rounds. Oh, no, this is much tougher than I expected. Okay. Is there that much break? Maybe not. Oh, what? Oh, it turned the other way at the end. That was crazy close though. That was good putting all day though. And that's going to be tied for the lead heading into the final round of the Boston Championship. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. It was a short, short one for three quick rounds right there. They were quite long as well. We just kind of powered through that. Powered the hell through it. Kevin Kisner is going to have the lead, is he? We'll see. And they show us the final leaderboard. Oh, hard stock like Maybe it will here. I think he usually does after. Yeah, just... There you go. Kevin Kisner is four ahead heading into Sunday. So that's going to give us a challenge at least to catch him. Otherwise, I think we will, though. This course isn't that difficult. TPC Boston's quite easy, actually. The greens are really, uh, I really like the greens, the way they're rolling and stuff. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like. Sorry for, like, the delay in this part and stuff. I've kind of been busy playing Mad Max and Until Dawn and shit. But, um, I'll try and pump one out every day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, And I'll see you guys for the final round of the Boston Championship in the next part very soon. Mahalo.